uh, shows was on the junior member, these young guys being officers. Right. You know, I, I, still, yeah. vo I still volunteer for a department where the chief's 43 years as a firefighter, you know, retired out of here. I'm in my 41st year, retired out of here. Um, our captain, eight years. And our lieutenant has got six years. And we actually held off on him and said we would rather leave the position vacant until we felt he was ready. And, and as, as an officer, I would say, okay, listen, we're going to do a drill, and I want you to cover this part of it. So you start to build that confidence. Absolutely. And, you know, and mm -hmm. not only as the individual, but as the member himself. You know, um, I have these two, the two twins, I call them, you know, peas in a pod there. And they did their firefighter one, their firefighter classes. They've done all their JPRs. They're ready. To, they are emotionally and physically ready and mentally ready to become interior. But I have not made them interior yet until all the other interior firefighters are comfortable with them. So I've run them through live burn drills with different guys. I've run them through the maze with different guys. I've run them, tried to run them through every scenario that I can, not with me, but with the guys they're going to work with. Yeah. Because those are the guys that are going to come to me and say, I'm comfortable. Yeah. We can do this. You know, and then I, you know, again, I, if we do give them their interior status, we say, listen, you don't, you're, you don't take the lead. You're not on line by yourself. You, you go with a senior man and you learn, you're a senior person and you learn, what, you know, uh, from that. Yeah. Because I think from the volunteer standpoint, we're hurting so much and we've lost so much because we're now getting older. You know, so we're losing that group, and especially here in the state of New York with everybody exodus, you know, exiting. And the fact that we're not being backfilled by that generation that's coming in, that, that community, sense of community, your family, you know, your father, your grandfather, and all that stuff. Um, we have to be more productive with what we have yeah. and put a better product on the street than quantity. So if a department is out there and they're boasting, you know, I got 100 members and we're doing this and we're doing that. And, you know, when I got my, my 30, you know, I, I would love to say I'm putting a better quality product on the street because it's not about quantity. You know, I had a, battalion, a captain in the city of Poughkeepsie Fire Department when I first, you know, started as a uh, Captain Hops from the city. And he said, son, I'd rather have 10 guys know what they're doing than 20 and 10 fuck it up for everybody else. Amen. You know, yeah, I agree. And, and that's the way it is. You're, no, you're you know, right. and, and the thing is, you, you here at Fairview, there's four of us. Yeah. You know, there is four of us responding on a call. So you have seven things that need to be done in the first two minutes, and there's only four of us. Mm -hmm. So we are definitely multitasking. Without a doubt. And we are doing the job of two until our second two engine comes or whatever. And I think that mentality here has transitioned to the volunteer service around us because of the fact they see how much work we actually get done with what we have. Yeah. Hey everybody, it's Robert with National Fire Radio. Thanks for tuning in. Catch up with us on social media. We got SoundCloud, National Fire Radio, YouTube, Fire Radio, Instagram, National Fire Radio, and Facebook, National Fire Radio. Guys, check us out. Take care. Be safe.